All right, well, we've got to talk about this Elimination Chamber show here. And as noted, the show ended with Miz cashing in, and he is the WWE champion here in 2021. Yeah, but whatever. I mean, it's it's like this is a transition to get to somewhere else. Whatever that is, I don't know. It may just be... Um, Drew, Drew getting it back in the first segment of the show tomorrow? I don't think it'll be that quick because they have a pay-per-view. So I could see Drew getting it back at the pay-per-view. Or or he could get it back on Raw. Yeah, but here's you know. the problem. Here's yes. the problem with them them waiting. We have to watch yeah. Miz's champion for more than 15 minutes tomorrow. But here's the other problem on top of that. So... Miz cashed in after Bobby Lashley attacked Drew McIntyre. Yes. Sheamus pinned Drew McIntyre on Raw last week. Yes. We've already got two challengers for a guy who is not the champion. So either one of these guys is, like, not going to get this championship match. Well, they'll both get it. It's just a question of when. I mean, it's not like the world ends at WrestleMania. I mean, it's like... Um, if I you mean, think that I have any faith in them continuing Drew and Sheamus past a month from now, I mean, I don't. I do. I mean, if that's the direction, they're going to do it. I mean, they're definitely going to do it. I mean, it's the, the, the question is, um, you know, do they do they have uh, Drew win the title, to, you know, uh, tomorrow and then defend against Sheamus and then defend against Lashley or in the opposite order? Or do they go with Drew beating Miz at fast lane and then defend against probably Lashley and then Sheamus comes after Lashley? Um, you know, I mean, it's just, I mean, you can just see further in the future. I mean, yeah, they got two guys ready. I'm glad they got two guys ready. Usually they they struggled, at, you know, with Roman Reigns. They haven't, they've had nobody ready, you know, for most of the year. So at least two guys gives them a little bit of time to get a third guy ready when they're done with these two guys. So, or whatever the di- direction is. So. It's it's fine. I mean, you know, I mean, I wouldn't, you know, if they were going to cash in, I, I certainly 100% wouldn't have had it be, be Miz. I would have tried to get somebody a little bit younger in, in that position. But that was the decision. Or we could have made. just continued the failure that he had and not put the money in the bank briefcase back on him again. Um, I, yeah, I wouldn't have put the, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have put the briefcase on him, but that was their decision. I mean, that's one of the things that we talk about all the time is that the, they'll go in there with this idea, oh, well, Miz is really annoying and people will get really, really mad at him and be champion and all that. And it's all well and good. And there's something to that as well. But, you know, it's better to go, especially now, you know, I mean, like the thing is, is if the funny part of the whole thing is that, um, you can take risks now before like there was always the fear of taking risks because if we take a risk and it doesn't pay off the next pay-per-view is going to do shit numbers you know like we we have a match that won't draw on pay-per-view but now you can take a risk with any young guy and 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 give him that chance because even if it doesn't work right now you establish the guy as a main eventer and by doing so you can but they don't no, they don't. I mean, that's the whole thing. I mean, like, the whole thing, was, as soon as Miz won, it was like, you know what? I mean, they could have done this with 15 other guys that are younger and better. Um, I know why they did it with Miz, because they're comfortable. And, you know, like, the older Vince gets, the um, younger, the talent that's old seems to Vince, because time moves. I, I've said this before. Time moves differently when you're older than when you're younger. So, you know, like, when when Vince was younger, you know, when he was 45, you know, he knew 40 was was the, the age you got to get everyone off TV, which was an artificial age. And that was wrong, too. And now it's like I won't push anyone unless they've got 15 years experience. So all these guys are 40, practically. If you them are like late 30s, I mean, Drew's 35 and Roman, I think, is right around 35. But that's a but but for the most part, they're pushing older guys. And it's it's because Vince is older and he's just. You know, he's he's more comfortable with them, and these other guys to him are too, you know, they're not ready. Um, and and none of it matters at this point because all they got to do is produce content. So, but like I said, you know, like there may have been a time where putting the title on Miz, especially now, would have just been a business disaster. But, um, you know, it really doesn't matter unless, you know, all of a sudden the ratings tomorrow are terrible. But I'm sure, I'm sure the curiosity over everything, the ratings will be, you know, probably up a little bit this week, and whatever, that's fine. 
Um, I mean, I'm figuring that that's what they figured. They, you go off the air with Mrs. Champion and everyone's really, really mad and they're all going to tune in for that first quarter and, you know, we'll do some teases and things. And, I'm not, you know, I mean, it may not pay off, but I'm sure that's the mentality. And, and it, I don't think it's like Mrs. Champion is going to be any great shakes, you know, um, but I don't. I don't see it as anything long. You're being very anyway. diplomatic here. No, I mean it's. Like it is going to be no great shakes. No, it's probably going to suck. But yes, you know. there's no way, dude. This guy's been in the most annoying segments on this show week after week. The okay, lowest but- number this show ever did. He was in the main event. It was him and John Morrison against Drew McIntyre. I mean, there is zero evidence that this is going to be any sort of positive. Zero evidence. Yeah, but they can go in there and go, oh, they're you know like. There's, there's, there's sometimes you mistake, um, like annoying heat with money heat, and they are two completely different. Yeah, they do this all the time. But they may have completely different, you know, mess, you know, like. I'm sure they did, but I mean, this is not money heat. No, I don't see it at all. I mean, we'll find out. I mean, not even tomorrow, because tomorrow is going to be an artificially high. You, whenever, whenever you change a title, and in in that situation, you're going to get a little bit of a, a bump, but. I don't. I don't see in the road to WrestleMania. I don't see the numbers being down, and they're going to get it off him quick enough anyway. I mean, it w- I, believe me, I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have even like if somebody if it was me and they suggested this, I would just go like, no. I wouldn't even. It's like it's not even something I would consider that I would even think of. But you know, it's not like it's you know. I mean, it, it's not like the days where you have the wrong guy as world champion, your business goes way down. And I've seen that many, many times. Um, and this would be that this would be a perfect example of that, except, you know, business is different. So it's not. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.